Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. It's me Talha. In this video, I will be sharing with you a Revit hack to create a scale architecture model of your Revit project. This video is actually related to one of my previous videos in which I explained you guys how to override the materials in Revit. But in this video, we will be using Revit and AutoCAD to create the, the scale architecture model. But before I get started, I would like to let you know about my website learnrevitonline.com where you can get my Revit online courses. Now let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and as you can see I have already opened this project which I did some time ago on this channel. If you, if you want to watch that video you can check out the link in the description. Anyway before exporting the project file to AutoCAD we want to remove all these uh, Revit families. We only want to keep the architecture model so we'll just quickly delete all of these families. So I have deleted all these Revit families and now before exporting the model we want to hide these levels as well. So let's select both of these levels and then right click hide in view elements. Now uh, we are ready to export this model to AutoCAD. So to do that just go to file export CAD formats and TWG. Now click next. I will just remove this 3D view from this file name and if you are using an older version of Revit you can choose the older version here uh, for the AutoCAD format uh, or the file type. So I will just uh, choose AutoCAD 2018 and click OK. So the file is now exported. Let's open up the AutoCAD and load that file here. So just click open and here we have it just click open again and our model is now loaded in AutoCAD so the reason why we open this project uh, uh, we open our Revit project in AutoCAD is only to create the new layers we want to create a new layer for each uh, of the materials we have in this Revit project so let's do that just go here and click layer properties and here as you can see we already have some layers which was created by Revit while exporting this project file. Now I have around 10 different materials in this project so I want to create 10 new layers here. So to create a new layer we can just click here new layer let's call it 001 walls and then I want to create a new material for the glass and then for the floor 203 marble and then another one will be for sidewalk so we just speed up this part So I have created the new layers for each of the materials I have in this project. Now let's add these objects to these layers. So first close these layer properties and then uh, I want to select this road and change the layer to the road which I have just created. I will repeat this with the other objects as well. Now we need to select all of these walls which is a bit uh, time consuming to uh, select each of these walls. What we can do is just uh, select any of these walls and then right click select similar and it will select all the walls and we can easily put them in this layer which we have just created.
now if you notice here sometimes Revit uh, export the objects as a block so we want to explore that in AutoCAD so we can apply different materials uh, to these objects so to explore the block in AutoCAD uh, you can just uh, type X which is the command to explode you can see if you type X you will see explode here just click it and it will explode the block and we can put these objects in uh, different layers now we can turn off all the layers which we have just created in this project so we can know uh, if we have uh, changed the layers for all of these objects so just click here to hide them so you can see we have these objects which need to be put uh, in the new layers so let's quickly do that now we can turn on all the layers before saving this project perfect now let's save this file and we want to re-import it into Revit so let's go back to Revit and go to insert and then import cat select the file and just change the positioning to center to center and open so our model is now loaded in this project but it's a bit difficult to uh, see that so what we can do is just hover over the edge of this model and hit tab key you can see the AutoCAD file is now highlighted so just click and we just want to move that here now you can see this imported CAD file uh, does not have any textures so we want to use the same materials which we have created for this project so to apply a material to this CAD file we can just go to uh, manage and then object styles imported objects and here we have the DWG file which we have just loaded now just click this plus icon and here you will find all the layers which we have just created in AutoCAD and we can easily assign um, different material to uh, each of these layers so to assign a material we can just go here and click at the corner and it will open up the material browser and here we can choose the materials from this project so for the walls I have this wall paint I will just select that and for the glass I will just choose glass material and for marble also so we'll just repeat this with the rest of these layers so i have assigned the materials to all of these layers now we can just click ok there you go we assigned the same materials to this cat file as uh, our main project now to, to scale this model we can just select that and edit type and here we have this scale parameter and if we uh, reduce the scale here it will change the scale for the whole model that way we can create the scale model of our project so let's do that keep in mind the units is set to inches if you want to change it you can just uh, change from here so I will just leave it inch here and let's try 0.5 inch click apply there you go the size of this model is now changed because this is a bit smaller so we want to make it more smaller so we can just put here let's try 0 0.07 maybe seems perfect just click ok 
okay if you notice we have some problem with the materials because you can see it's uh, way too big so let's fix that just go back to object styles imported objects and let's change the material for this grass now here first let's duplicate this material and go to appearance and first click here to duplicate this asset otherwise it will affect on this material as well so we want to click here first and then we can just change the size of this texture let's put 0.6 inches okay and I want to repeat that with the other materials so I have finished changing the materials just click OK and there you go now it's looking just amazing so that's how you can create the scale architecture model of your Revit project so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my uh, Revit online courses you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video